everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm going to be putting these upper cabinets up on the wall over here. But before we do that, I wanted to direct your attention behind you to the stone wall behind the wood stove. It's uh, doing really well. You can see I've got longer and longer extensions of different things that are holding stuff up. The bricks holding things up, boards holding things up. But I'm just going a little bit at a time, and it's coming out pretty nicely. But like I said, I'm going to be working on this today. And another big thing that happened today earlier is that internet uh, connectivity just happened in the back. So we were able to access the internet here. That's going to help with River being able to you know, play with his friends and stuff online uh, while I'm here. That'll give me the opportunity to do longer days. But it also uh, gives me access to information all over the world, which I don't always have. And sometimes that can be a real problem. Today, for example, I was trying to figure out exactly how high I wanted these cabinets to be. Uh, and these cabinets here are kind of going to be prescribed by the half cabinet that goes next to them uh, that goes over the refrigerator. I'd like the top of all the cabinets to go right along. Here's the full ones and here's the half one. I want the top of all of them to be uh, you know, flush with each other. Uh, so I kind of needed to figure out where that cabinet was going to be here. I didn't want to make it too low because I, don't, I didn't know how high an average refrigerator was. That wasn't information I had written down. Uh, but once we got the internet connected, I was able to go into my email, check to see you know, which refrigerator I ordered, which is 66 and 3 quarters inches tall, I think. Um, and I also did a search for what's a standard fridge height, and it seems like they all pretty much are 70 inches or lower. So uh, that was no problem at all. I'm going to be even a little higher than 70 inches, but I just wanted to make sure of that, and it was nice having that information availability. So I'm going to take this cupboard here, and as you can see, I pre-put some boards on the wall that uh, are nice and level. I, I used a level to get those on there. So uh, while I'm putting this thing in, all I really have to do is rest this down on the back there and screw it in. And I pre-measured about where the screws need to be. Let's see if I can feel that. Do I got it? No, I'm over it. Okay. Okay. This is more of a... This would be easier with two people. <laughs> but I just got me, and that's okay. I'm looking around on the side here. I drew a line where this needs to come to. Bouncing it along. Oh, I went too far. Okay. That looks pretty good right there. I'm going to hold the front and sink these screws in. And these are lined up with the studs. One, I've got a bite anyway, once you get it in it's a nice feeling because then at least it's not going to fall. Alright, so that's, that's the deal, i got two other cabinets over here and I'm just going to rest them on there like I did, then the one off to the side there, and I don't know that one's lighter, I may not need the support, but I might do it just to make it go a lot smoother. That's it, thanks for watching.